Hello everybody, thank you so much for visiting our channel again. I always appreciate your time. Today I would like to talk to you about the clutch adjustment and also replacing the primary oil, which I will be doing for my bike. Uh, highly recommend this as a part of the standard procedure of the maintenance for our bikes. So please uh, stick around and I will show you how to do that. It's really simple. Here we go. So clutch adjustment is uh, part of the standard uh, maintenance of our motorcycle. So if you are experiencing issues with uh, finding neutral, that uh, sometimes uh, our clutch will get a little bit loose. This is a great moment to, to take a closer look at uh, and adjust your uh, clutch really quickly. This is rather a simple procedure that can be done in probably about 15-20 uh, minutes. And it's always a good idea to warm up your bike before you will drain any kind of oil from your bike. So I, I have the chance to take my bike for about the 20-30 minutes ride. I took the bike on the highway for a few moments to just warm it up really nicely. It will help me to drain the, the oil really quickly. And what is important that when you will be doing actual adjustment, especially at the, at the hub, you have to make sure that the, your bike is cooled down. So make sure that the, you let it uh, sit for a little bit after you, you drain the uh, oil from the primary. And for that, you will of course need the 36 ounces of the, of the primary fluid. I will be using Amsoil. I have uh, a lot of trust in those products. So this is what I will do in here as well. And you will need the wrench, which is the size 5 8 and you will be able to uh, unscrew the, the drain plug. So let me show you all the steps that uh, you will have to accomplish in order to get this done. Okay, this is the screw in here. I tried to film it with my hand, so not the easiest thing to do, but I would like to show you guys exactly what it is. Watch out, this oil is hot. And here we go. Make sure to always inspect the plug. There is a little magnet on top of this screw, just to make sure you don't have like too many filings of the of the metal. This one looks kind of normal, so let me just show you a little bit more. I consider this to be normal. So we are still draining this a little bit. It's helpful to also put the bike in the straight up upright position just to make sure that everything will, will drain really nicely. So I will do that in a second. Okay, so I will sit on the bike. Just move it around a little bit just to make sure that Everything is draining really nicely. Next, I'm gonna clean this plug really, really quickly, just to make sure that there is no filings on it when I when I put it back on. It's a good idea to also inspect the thread, just to make sure that everything is nice and fine in here. Sometimes I will use a wire brush to clean the thread as well. So I just kind of stick my fingernail into the thread and I'm turning this right now so that will that will help it a little bit too. So okay. It should do it. Of course there is this uh, tiny o-ring in here which will have to be replaced. So this is a uh, part of the gaskets that Harley is providing for for it so I will do that. And as you can see you can also use the Allen wrench but I just prefer a traditional range. I think maybe this is something new. I didn't see that on the previous Harleys, but I could be mistaken here. All right. I'll put the screw back in there. Let it drain really nicely for a few more minutes. What you will do next after cleaning this uh, plug you will have to remove this uh, o-ring and put the put the new o-ring on here so what you will do you will take a small screwdriver 
just pry this one off, put it in there, make sure you have the new one, we'll pop it in here. After it sits really nicely in here, make sure everything is nice and clean and you will put it in there. Again, be really, really careful with the threads. All those cases are aluminum, so it's really easy to strip them down. I always try to tie everything with my hand as much as I can. It will go almost to, till the end and then just tie it up with the, with the wrench. And you can see It just takes a little bit. So this is this is how I tied it up with my hand. Yeah, that's about right. It's not even like quarter of a turn. So you should be fine right now. Unfortunately, I stripped the threads on my Sportster before. It was a really easy thing to do. So I tried to be like really careful from this point on. And especially with those O-rings that are Flexible, of course, this is rubber, so you don't really need a lot of torque up there just to make sure you have nice secure seal. Okay, so now we can remove our, our cover from here. It's always a good idea to put the, something underneath. I changed my oil before, so let me just use my tray that I have handy. This is a T25. You will just loosen all the screws and then just unscrew all of those. Okay, this will expose your clutch and this is adjustment screw and the nut and in here we have the gasket here that I'm not sure I can actually use that. Yeah, looks like dealer sold me the wrong gasket <laughs> for the second time. Uh, well, I guess I will just reuse the old gasket. So if you have a 2019 model, I will say carefully check which gasket you are getting because those uh, primary covers change between 18 and 19. And as you can see, this gasket is completely different than this one. So what I will do, I'm gonna reuse this gasket and I will try to put the cover or I actually might buy the new gasket tomorrow. So we'll see what's gonna happen with that. But I was able to reuse these gaskets in the past and yeah, it works for a few times, but of course it's not recommended. It's a good idea to replace it every single time. Okay, so let's adjust this clutch really quickly. This one was a mystery for me for quite some time, but it's relatively easy as I find out doing that. So we we'll remove this clamp. We'll remove the, remove the clamp on the bottom as well. And then we can push this cover. I have to cut this, uh, this little tie down in here that I got. So let me cut that out. This is something that I put on, so you guys shouldn't have this. Yeah, this will this will expose this cable in here. And this is what you will do. Let me just make sure that you guys can see that really good. 
So there is this red part. What you will do, you will turn it. And actually you can do it with your fingers or sometimes the screwdriver. So maybe I will just show it with the, with the screwdriver just so you guys can see. You will just push it in, push it in on this side. As you can see, this will release this, this plastic tab. What you will do right now, you will compress it to the max and you will lock it. So after you release the tension from your cable by opening this red tab, you will just make sure that you just push your clutch a few times just to make sure that there is uh, no tension in the cable anymore. And that will be, that will be the moment to uh, take the next step in the adjustment. So here it is what you will have to do in order to adjust your clutch. You will put your Allen wrench 732 inside of this bolt inside and loosen this screw. So you'll turn it light left. Just make sure it's nice and loose. And then what you will do, you will turn this nut, I mean this uh, bolt, I'm sorry, inside till you feel like light resistance. So this is about here and I'm talking about resistance with your two fingers kind of here what they recommend in the manual that you will back it up half of the turn and then you will tie this knot in here here you go so this is this is enough Okay, now you can adjust this front part. So you will unlock it again. Make sure you push it. And as you can see, the spring kind of pop out. So it will adjust this tension of your cable automatically. So this is kind of it. What you have to do right now you lock it, you, pull it, you push this red tab inside and yeah, that should be it. Now you will put your clamps back. So the first one is going in here. The second one is going in here. And here you go. This is, this is nicely done. What you will do right now, you will just push your level from the clutch a few times, make sure everything is working properly. You will feel really nice tight tension in here. So this is supposed to be good right now. The next step is to, to fill out the primary with the primary fluid. I will be using M soil again. It is also important to make sure that you have a correct uh, free play on the cable. It's supposed to be 1 16 of an inch up to 1 8. So after you just pull on the cable, you will be able to see how much space you have in here. So you can use the filler gouge in here and just measure the distance in here. So this is just uh, another step in the procedure. The next step is uh, to put our cover back on. Of course, when you do this job, you have to replace the gasket as well. Unfortunately, in my situation, a dealership sold me incorrect gasket. So I will, I will actually use the, the old one that I have in here. Hopefully I will have no leaks. And, but of course it is recommended to replace all the gaskets when you are doing this job. So you will go in crisscross pattern when you are tidying all this stuff up. And here we go. Looks like we are done. It was rather easy. Clutch is adjusted. So as you can see, this is a rather simple procedure that will allow you to keep your, uh, your clutch in a good shape and you will have no issues with your neutral if, if done properly. 
So I really hope that you like this uh, short episode that we have. And as always, uh, I would like to ask you for a subscription. It always means a world to me. You can also find us on uh, Instagram. I also have the Facebook group called the Riders United Motorcycle Group. So feel free to join for more discussion. I'm always uh, uh, hoping for some comments uh, from you guys. So if you have uh, anything uh, that you would like to share with me or if there is any specific uh, kind of videos that you, you guys would like to see, please let me know and I will be more than happy to record those videos if possible. So thank you so much for being with me. I always appreciate your time and I really hope to see you on the road one day. Ride safe and take care. Bye-bye.